Hey guys, I thought I would come and make a quick video um, while I had some time on the road and I was thinking um, about my, what I like most about being natural. And I have to say the number one thing about being natural, aside from just, you know, feeling free and, and empowered by my hair, but just feeling how healthy my hair is and how healthy my scalp is. Um, when I was probably three, four months into my transition, I can tell that my scalp and uh, like my hairline and so forth was going through some major changes. It was as if my hair was going through some withdrawals, uh, for a bad, lack of better words. But when I was relaxed, um, just the chemical reactions, allergic reactions that I was having to them was horrible. My scalp was always flaking. I felt that I had to uh, wash my hair just for that purpose, just to make sure that I didn't have all these flakes flying around in my hair. Um, but now I wash my hair and co-wash my hair because of the health of it. And I'm so happy that this time around of transitioning that I actually had the opportunity to actually um, learn my hair, learn what, what products work for my hair, what products doesn't work for my hair, and just learning all over again. I mean, when I had relaxed hair, it looked healthy, and it was probably healthy to some degree, but, you know, I always still had some issues, and I'm, I've only been natural, completely natural for almost a month now. This week will be a month, and... I just really love it. I didn't think that I, I was going to love my short hair as much as I do, but I mean, it's, it's easy to care for. Um, I really like that as my scalp and my hair was going through transition, so was um, my skin care. Um, I started developing adult acne a couple of years or so ago, and um, and I will still have some breakouts. I, I had a couple of breakouts the other day, and only because um, I know it was something that I ate. But for the most part, I don't have breakouts like I used to. My acne is not bad. Um, I still don't wear a whole lot of, like, I, well, I don't wear foundation. I just wear, like, a powder, a translucent powder or a mineral veil just to take down the shine. But I just really like the transformation of my scalp, my skin care, my facial skin care. I mean, everything is so different about me. I take pride in what I put on my hair and what I'm putting on my body. Um, I did this very well with eating healthy, um, exercising regular, but I just was not doing that for my hair. And so I love the part I love about transitioning and now that I'm completely natural is that I am so aware of myself. And I think that's the most important thing that you can get out of the whole process is becoming aware of who you really are. And it takes a lot of patience when you're transitioning. It takes a lot of courage to transition. And I think when people start it um, and they go back to a relaxer, it's because they're not comfortable. And I think that once you get past a couple of months or so of transitioning, you, you're very self-aware. I mean, you have, um, you have a different uh, view of who you really are. You have a different view of um, what you put on. You have a different view of how others view you. I mean, once you gain that self-confidence as you're transitioning, can't nobody or nothing take that away from you. And that's really important. And I, I, I can't say that my self-esteem was low before I started transitioning, but I definitely have a stronger sense of who I am now that I'm completely natural. And the negative comments that I've gotten transitioning hasn't bothered me not one bit. And the only thing I could tell that person, well, okay, well, it doesn't work for you, but it works for me, and I'm happy with it. I love the fact that my being natural now that, I mean, I'm telling you, like, I, I feel really beautiful. I mean, I can't explain that feeling to you, but I just re feel really, really beautiful. I feel very confident. I feel more aware. And so it wasn't about just having healthy hair. It was having a healthy sense of who you are. Um, the whole transitioning process, again, is a process. I think people should take, women should take more
more pride in embracing who they are, embracing their hair. And I can repeat myself over and over again, but I completely love their natural. Um, and I'm just, I'm looking forward to experiencing more what comes along with this transitioning. Um, emotionally, I think I'm a lot stronger. Um, things that seem to affect me. I mean, we all have the stages where we are a little more sensitive than other days, but I just feel emotionally I'm, I'm a lot stronger. And it makes me feel good, too, when I see um, African-American men who compliment, you know, African-American black women on being natural. I mean, that's so rewarding. And just people around you, if they embrace it, I mean, okay, great. I mean, that it helps with the confidence. But I love, um, what I love about transitioning is that, and this is so funny because um, I think I've kind of introduced you guys to my daughter. If not, I do a video on that. But my daughter, if I'm sitting down, she walks up to me and she just touches my hair all the time. And that just, and she didn't do that when I was relaxed. I mean, my daughter has never played in my hair. And now that I'm completely natural, like if we're just sitting down somewhere, she just puts her hands through my hair. And that just makes me feel so good. I mean, she embraces and she tells me every morning that I'm getting dressed now, Mommy, you look pretty. And I'm like, thank you. I was like, and you're pretty too, because my daughter is natural. But it just, it gives you a great feeling just knowing that, or well, gives me a great feeling knowing that she has actually paid some attention to it. So, um, that's my reasoning why I'm loving being natural so much. Um, now, me, my daughters, we're all natural. We can use most of all the same products and um, it's a great feeling. So, I do encourage anyone who's transi transitioning to continue and have the patience to get through their their transitioning process. Um, and if you if you feel like you want a big shop, go for it. I did. I mean, I didn't think I would big shop as soon as soon as I did. I was thinking I could transition without doing the big shop. But I'm happy that I did it. I mean, it was a great feeling. It's I mean, it's been a wonderful journey. So I say go for it. Um, stay strong in your transition. I'm telling you, you will learn so much about yourself doing so. Okay, that's it for this video. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.